Sometimes you'll have certain backgrounds that are difficult to remove, especially for the remove background button right here. As you can see, it will give it an attempt, but it's not quite what we're looking for. You would end up spending more time having to correct it. So here's a quick and simple way to remove this type of background. All you need to do is go ahead and get yourself the polygonal lasso tool. We're just going to get ourselves a selection around the lightning that we want to remove the background from. And then going back to the very first one, we're going to connect it up. From here, press Control or Command and J. We're going to hide this layer and you want to press Control, Shift and U. This will revert it to black and white. Now, once you've done that, we can go up to Select, go down to Color Range. And in here, you just want to zoom in to the brightest part of this area and get yourself a sample. From here, you can start to change the slider depending on how much of it you want it to select. So for us, we need all of it to be visible and we're going to set it to 200. Go ahead and press OK. And now all you need to do is get yourself a mask. And there we go, the background has been removed. If we get ourselves a new solid color, you can see we now have this lightning bolt right here. Now at the moment we have lost the original color. So what we can do by using the brush tool, we can get ourselves a sample of this color and then we can also swap it over to the other one as well. And then we can get ourselves one that's in the lightning right here. We can then go back to the other two images. We're just going to select the mask and by using a black color with a low opacity, we can just soften the edges and make it less noticeable. You still want to have the glow, but not as aggressive on the edges. And then from here, we're going to get ourselves a new layer by using the brush tool. We're going to use the colors that we sampled. And then you just want to set the brush to around, let's say 30. And then you want to get yourself the very first stroke onto here. We're then going to add a new layer make the brush bigger, get yourself another one. Once again, get yourself another one, make the brush bigger. And then one more time, and then this one make it a lot larger. And you want to set all of these layers to linear dodge add. You can also double left click on your main image and get yourself a outer glow as well. So for this one, we're going to get ourselves a blue color. And then the final touch is you can get yourself a brightness and contrast, and this will allow you to control how bright or how aggressive it's going to be. You can also change the contrast If you want to, you can save this image and you can place it anywhere you want. If you save it as a PNG, it will keep it transparent. 